Hello, Rom Mithril here once again, getting back to Pokemon Yellow No Evolutions. We have a lot of work to do today, so let's get right to it. Starting with the Cerulean City Gym. Leader, Misty, the tomboyish mermaid. You're a trainer too. Collecting, fighting, it's a tough life. Yo, champ in making. Here's my advice. The leader, Misty, is a pro who uses water Pokemon. You can drain all their water with plant Pokemon, or zap them with electricity. So we definitely have some options there. And of course, Gary beat us here. Splash! I'm first up. Let's do it. And so our first challenger here is a swimmer. And he's sending out Horsey. Horsey is another of those breeds that's somewhat infamous for me. Way back in the days of Red and Blue, it took me forever to find a Horsey. I looked this up because honestly I wasn't sure, but it wasn't a version exclusive or anything. It just for some reason took an inordinately long time to show up for me. Same kind of problem I had with Chimeco in 3rd gen. It actually took me a full two weeks to find even one Chimeco. So, I don't know if I was just looking in the wrong place for Horsey or what, but it just gave me a lot of trouble showing up. So next up we have Shelter. They're more physically defensive, so Absorb might do more damage here. Yeah, there we go. But yeah, not counting more arcane encounter methods like, for example, Spiritomb or Feebas, Horsey and Chimeco, they stand out in my mind as the ones that gave me the most trouble just encountering them naturally. And a level up for Bonsai, very nice. That can't be. He's still not high enough to need to be B-button cancelled, though, at least. Misty is going to keep improving. She won't lose to someone like you. So let's go ahead and shuffle things around a little bit. There we go. I'm more than good enough for you. Misty can wait. And we have Junior Trainer Female. And she has a Goldeen. Goldeen's one of those fairly simple designs that I just always thought looked pretty nice. In some ways they kind of remind me of the goldfish from Fantasia, I want to say. You overwhelmed me. You have to face other trainers to find out how good you really are. And so that just leaves Misty. Hi, you're a new face. What's your policy on Pokémon? What is your approach? My policy is an all-out offensive with water-type Pokémon. Misty, the world-famous beauty, is your host. Are you ready, sweetie? From what I remember of the anime, that text seemed weird for Misty. But they also did change her sprite to make her look more like she does in the anime. Normally she, in the games, wears just kind of a nondescript bikini. Her team is pretty much the same, though, so starting with Staryu. And we got Paralysis in there. So that much went well. Now the part we might have some trouble with, Starmie. I know they're pretty fast, so let's take care of that. Harden? Okay. I mean, it's not gonna do much. Nor is that. The heck are you doing, Misty? <laughs> Concentrating on physical defense while I'm hitting with a special attack. 
Fully paralyzed. This is actually going surprisingly well. And all you do is tackle. Okay. I mean, I have a lot to do today, so I won't complain. <laughs> and a level up for Conduit. Trying to learn Slam. Do I have anything I want to drop for that? I haven't really been using Tail Whip. I can't believe I lost. All right, you can have the Cascade Badge to show you beat me. The Cascade Badge makes all Pokémon up to level 30 obey. That includes even Outsiders. I've always wondered why they word it this way, because as far as I know, if you're the original trainer of a Pokémon, no matter how high-leveled it gets, they never disobey. It is purely the ones that come from trades that you have to worry about their level. So, I don't know why they make it sound like this is something special. This is the only thing that matters, really. I don't know. It just seemed weirdly worded to me. There's more. You can now use cut any time. Well, once you have the HM for it. You can cut down small bushes to open new paths. You can also have my favorite TM. And we get TM11. TM11 teaches Bubble Beam. Use it on an aquatic Pokémon. Bubble Beam is one of those moves that I just kind of like it thematically, so I sometimes wish it was still a TM. You beat Misty. What'd I tell ya? You and me, kid. We make a pretty darn good team. The main reason I wish you could more freely teach Bubble Beam is that my Totodile is named after the main character from Bubble Bobble, but has no way to actually learn Bubble Beam, sadly. I'd purely teach it to him for thematic purposes. But he can't learn it as an egg move, I don't think there's a tutor for it, and the TM is gone. Ah well. So someone in the comments suggested that the only thing that really matters for getting Bulbasaur is that you get the Cascade Badge. Huh? I know. Would you take care of this Bulbasaur? Uh, sure. I mean, it's not on the list, but it's nice to have him. I mean... Conduit seems the same level of happiness. Yet on an failed take, I tried coming in here after beating Misty, but I still didn't get Bulbasaur, so I really don't know. That's kind of weird. Uh, let's put Breeze in the lead for now. These poor people here were robbed. We're positive that Team Rocket is behind this terrible deed. Even our police force has trouble with the rockets. Team Rocket must be trying to dig their way into no good. Those miserable rockets! Look what they did here. They stole a TM for teaching Pokémon how to dig holes. That cost me a bundle, it did. Team Rocket left a way out. So, did the police just not check the backyard? Hey, stay out! It's not your yard! Huh? Me? I'm an innocent bystander. Don't you believe me? Yeah, the outfit totally doesn't give you away. Look at this picture of innocence! That's one of those things that just always seem kind of silly to me. So yeah, during the last level grind, Breeze did learn Whirlwind. It's, uh, basically kind of useless right now, though. In a wild battle in first gen, Whirlwind would just go ahead and end it. It would blow the opposing Pokémon away. In trainer battles, though, it doesn't actually do anything in first gen. In later generations, it served as a forced switch out. It would make the opponent switch Pokémon. I don't think it did that in first gen. Well, that's a problem. Eh. 
There we go. Drowsy. This could be a mistake. So many other Pokémon, though, they haven't learned a move of their type yet, so maybe I'm safe? And since Karate Chop is normal and just guaranteed to crit... Yeah, just using Pound. So either I got lucky or it was another of those things where... It is a Psychic Pokémon, but doesn't know a Psychic move yet. Either way, I'm happy with the results. Level up for Tyson. Stop, I give up. I'll leave quietly. Okay, I'll return the TM I stole. And so we got TM28. I better get moving. Bye. So as we know, TM28 contains Dig. I figure what's lost is lost. I decided to teach Diglett how to dig without a TM. I mean, it's right there in the min it's right there in the name. But then Psy is right there in the name for Psyduck, and yet it doesn't naturally learn Psychic, so what do I know? That's one of those that always felt weird to me. Okay, so we're all healed up. And for specific reasons, I'm going to put Conduit back in the lead. Because next up on the agenda, we're going to try and catch a couple more Pokémon. We just have to cut through this house again. Don't mind us, just passing through. So now we can go this way. The way to the east up there was blocked off by a tree that we can't cut just yet. But on this route we can look for some Pokémon. And that's not what I'm after. Nor is that. Yeah, depending on how elusive they are, I may just fast forward this bit. Birds! Birds! That is a large bird, not what I was after. So many birds! Again with the birds! Several birds later... There we go! Yep, Abra made the list. And Abra is rather infamous. I'm gonna have to hope this works. Okay, I am faster so I can get that through. Okay, fully paralyzed. So hopefully that's gonna be enough. Nope. And it got away. That's the thing about Abra. It only knows teleport. So that's always going to be what it resorts to in battle. And back to the birds. Yet more birds later. Well, here's the other one I'm after. So the trouble here is twofold. For one thing, it's gonna try and put my Pokémon to sleep. The other problem is... How to weaken it without just outright taking it out. I'm gonna hope Rod isn't strong enough to do so. Okay. What do you know? Having Rod around actually was useful.
Or that could happen. Oh no, my fish is asleep! Thing is, there's not a whole, much, a whole lot left I can do here. But there we go. Jigglypuff was caught. Jigglypuff, balloon, uses its alluring eyes to enrapture its foe. It then sings a pleasing melody that lulls the foe to sleep. So Jigglypuff is one of those that I always thought was kind of cute. And, well, she's a singer, so that makes sense. So that just leaves trying to get that Abra. This is going to be a thing. Something, something, birds. Okay, so the other option in trying to catch Abra is just throw a Pokeball and hope. Because, I mean, anything else that I could potentially do here, trying to cause paralysis, that works, but I have to hope it actually strikes in that first turn, and that he can't use teleport. I could potentially train up Melody and hope that Sing works, but it's not the most accurate sleep attack, and it's kind of asking a lot for something to outspeed Abra. It's a speedy little thing. I could throw out Tyson, have him use Low Kick, and hope for a flinch, but that too... Again, it's a level of hope. Hoping was my first mistake. Teleport can fail? Teleport can fail! That's a new one for me. I have never seen it fail. But we got Abra. That's a new one on me! Abra, Sai, sleeps 18 hours a day. If it senses danger, it will teleport itself to safety, even as it sleeps. Unless it fails, apparently. <laughs> oh man, that's hilarious. Even more so that we caught it after it failed to teleport. <laughs> I have never seen that happen. So yeah, the thing about Menza there, like I said, Teleport is the only move Abra naturally learns. He has potential, though. He can use TMs. It's just going to be a while before we can actually do anything with that. So, here we have the daycare. Breeding wasn't a thing in first gen, so it's basically just you can leave a Pokémon here to let it level up. Of course, it won't gain any extra effort values for doing so. I'm on guard duty. Gee, I'm thirsty, though. Oh, wait there. The road's closed. So we can't go through that way. But we can go through here. Hi, do you have Cubone? Want to trade it for Machoke? Nope. That's too bad. I don't think we even have access to Cubone yet. So I believe there are hidden items in the underground paths here, but I have no idea where they are. There is an item you can get later on called the Item Finder that helps with situations like that. People often lose things in that underground path. Okay. So we'll put Breeze back in the lead here. The grass around here, I believe you can just find the same Pokémon as what I was running into up there. So, all the Pidgey ever. Technically, I could have also gotten Abra and Jigglypuff around here. But for now, we're just going to deal with some trainers. There are many bugs out here. I'm not sure there are any bugs out here, actually. not sure what all is here, but if it is the same rates as what I was running into earlier, it's basically Pidgey, the very rare Pidgeotto, Rattata, Jigglypuff, Abra, and I think that's about it. 
put it this way, if there was anything else, I didn't find it. But I was definitely finding every single Pidgey in just those few steps. The only answer is bird. Still just throwing out all the Caterpie and Weedle. You're kidding! I like bugs, so I'm going back to Viridian Forest. Enjoy finding all the Caterpie. I'm doing this out of love. Leave me alone. Okay. Junior Trainer Mail with... Weepin' Bell. Again, how I wish for a flying type attack. At least Vine Whip's not gonna do too much. A critical hit, on the other hand. And a level up for Breeze. No, this can't be. No, Breeze, you are not evolving. B button. My love will leave me in disgust. Okay, uh, well, Rod's asleep. Let's put Romeo in the lead for now. I'm training for my love. Don't bother me. Junior Trainer Female with Cubone. This could be bad. Depends on when you learn ground attacks. You're also very defensive. I at least have options I can fall back on. Because, yeah, Poison Sting's not going to do too much. I mean, technically it could at least cause a poison effect. Maybe I'm better off hoping for that at this point. If you're just going to keep doing that. Either way, we're going to be here a while. There we go. So yeah, I'm probably going to be doing more damage with that than anything I'm actually throwing at him. But hey, whatever works. I don't know if Growl is failing because it's missing, or that he's reduced my health too much, and oh boy, there's a ground attack. Sorry, Romeo, you came close. So we'll just let a sleeping fish finish this off, I suppose. If I can hang on for one more turn, I might have this. Not quite. I mean, I want you to at least get some experience from this. At the very least, Bone Club can't hit Breeze. So yeah, that went a bit badly. My textbook never... Now I understand. Pokémon isn't about calculated numbers. 
boy are you wrong. <laughs> Just go to any given page on Smogon, they will disagree with you very much. Well, let's go ahead and wake up the fish. Sadly, you can't buy revives yet. I've never seen you around. Are you good? Another bug catcher. And this one's actually trying. Hi there, Butterfree. Yeah, that's a bad matchup. Pretty much Conduit is my best bet here, and ow, that hurt a lot, and that's a problem. I'll take poison over the sleep anyway, I can at least hopefully fight. Well, that happened. I can't help but notice the Butterfree hasn't actually used a real attack. Do you just have status moves? I mean, if so, that's lucky for me, but it's kind of weird. <laughs> too good. Are my Pokémon weak, or am I just bad? I'd have to look at the full moveset for that Butterfree to tell you. I'm still kind of confused by that one, honestly. Me? Well, okay, I'll play. I didn't necessarily ask you. I'd be happy with just getting into town myself. Especially since birds keep happening! Well, I know you don't have any flying-type attacks. Pidgey slides off the side of the screen like that, I'm just imagining the whole, you know, stage hook coming off and grabbing him. The mental image amuses me. Heck of a time for that to miss. The bells! The bells! So again, just all the birds. All the birds ever. Simple enough to get through anyway. Just didn't work. I want to get stronger. What's your secret? Huh? You want to talk to me? No, I didn't really. I'm just walking along minding my own business. I just want to go to town. Birds!
Why is it always birds? It's also the more dangerous bird. And level up for conduit. Radicate. Not sure I was expecting that, and that could be trouble. I mean, thankfully it's fairly low level, but we're going to take care of any speed advantages you might have right away. Okay, not doing quite as much damage as I was afraid of. Never mind what I just said. Hopefully you don't know Quick Attack. That was a thing. I didn't start it. You very much did! I should carry more Pokémon with me for safety. You very much started that fight. Don't even tell me you didn't! Liar! But anyway, with that, that's where we're gonna call it for now. We've made it to Vermilion City, and we'll start exploring here next time. So with that, thank you very much for watching, I hope you're enjoying the series so far, and I shall see you again next time. Until then, Fare thee well. Who's that Pokémon? It's Melody!